Thank you for staying here on joining us today with me, Benis Abubedu. Ghana is currently recording 640 new cases every year in a new form of tuberculosis known as multi-resistant tuberculosis. The figure, according to the chairman uh, of the World Health Organization Child Tuberculosis Tax Force, Dr. Anthony Enemil, is disturbing and very dangerous. Statistics from the National Tuberculosis Program shows a short uh, up from 66 to 77 in the cases of multi-resistant TB between 2015 and 2016. As, the, as Ghana joins the rest of the world to mark World Tuberculosis Day, Love News, one of our affiliates, has been speaking to Dr. Enemil. By virtue of the National Prevalence Survey in 2013, Ghana now has a better view of the state of the epidemic. But how many people know the treatment of tuberculosis is free? I knew at first about the treatment was, it was very expensive, but now I know that it is free. Do you know that treatment of tuberculosis is free? Really? No. Mm, I have no idea if it's free or not. The current surveillance system is detecting about 54.2 per 100,000. Dr. Anthony Enemel is the chair of the World Health Organization's Africa Child Tuberculosis Tax Force. CB treatment is for free. So there's no way somebody should die of TB. So let the person go, the test to even confirm TB, which is your phlegm, or your sputum is also for free. So you shouldn't die of TB. And that's why I say people should not die of a disease that is curable. Every year, 640 new multi-drug resistant tuberculosis cases are recorded. Dr. Anthony Animal is worried. TB treatment is difficult because you must swallow tablets daily for six months. And that is one of the challenges. But the problem we are having is when you start the treatment, Within one month to two months, you feel well. And the danger for most of us now is those who are feeling well stop the medication. It is not that the organisms are dead. They are dormant because it takes six months to kill them. So you do two months, part of them are dead, others are alive. Those who are alive after two months when you stop the medication are the dangerous ones. Because when they come back to cause disease, they are well fortified. The drugs that you were using no longer works. And we call that multi-drug resistant TB. And we used not to have it in Ghana, but now multi-drug resistant TB is in Ghana. Almost 2% of all our TB cases are multi-drug resistance, which means if we don't take your medication carefully, you are going to get a strain that the six months regimen will not work. Treating for multi-drug resistance is more difficult because currently you can go up to 20 months, including eight months of injection daily for eight months. And that is even targeting multi-drug resistance. And you see, the dangerous part is if you don't complete and you develop multi-drug resistance, the, and you are coughing onto people, the, the TB strain that you are giving to people is not the one that will respond to six months. It is the one that the person will also need almost 20 months, including eight months of injection. This makes it dangerous, and we are all at risk. Unite to end TB is a theme for the celebration this year. The call is for stakeholders to unite towards achieving the goal of TB elimination by 2030. Prince Apia, reporting.
Away from health, let's do some politics now. Assembly members of Sekendi Takwade Municipal Assembly have approved the president's nominee for the Metropolitan Chief Executive position. Uh, joining us on the line is Francis Wacha, and he's uh, actually witnessed the whole voting process. Hello, Francis. Uh, so um, at what percentage uh, did he get this uh, confirmation? Well, hi, Bennett. Uh, so the percentage, we are looking around um, 90 8.6 percent so it is 70 out of 71 votes and i'm sure the the question on the minds of people is so who could be that one person who didn't confirm well uh, one person was absent so the reason he can 70 mm. out of 71 votes okay so in other words we can say for those present or those who uh, cast their vote it's a hundred percent uh uh support for this new mayor absolutely for those who are present it was a hundred percent support um for the new mayor. But let me quickly add that um, the mayor, while um, uh, giving his acceptance speech, um, indicated that if you look at the Western region, the Kenyatta Academy Metropolitan Assembly is um, the gateway to the Western region. Mm. And so for him, every policy that the government has planned to implement, for instance, one district, one factory, uh, and one million dollar per constituency, um, he will make sure that he plays his role very, very well in ensuring that this government policy comes to pass. Now, on the metropolitan level, he indicated that if you come to the Kenita Academy, most of our street lights are not functioning, which poses danger to people. Again, two weeks ago, when I was a major uh, storm in the metropolis, one person got, got electrocuted and the city was flooded. So, this congestion is one of his major priorities, and the sorting of major drainages is also one of his top, top, top priorities. Then. All right, Francis, so let's talk about his reaction. Obviously, this is uh, some overwhelming support there. How has he been reacting to it? Well, uh, he was very positive about it. Um, the fact that all 70 assembly members within the FCMA present overwhelmingly endorsed him. And for him, that is a major, major, major booster for him to start all this important work which has been given to him by the presence of the Republic of Ghana. Okay, and, and for our viewers who may not know exactly who he is, can you just tell us his name and uh, what he does previously? Before? Well, Anthony Secretary Sam is an educationist, and um, he is the former regional secretary of the new secretary party, and he served, um, his tenure came to an end, I think, about uh, four years ago uh, when they went for elections, and then uh, that issue uh, won. But he was the secretary of the party, and he is widely regarded in the Western region as a grassroots man. Mm. Now, earlier before his nomination by the president, there were three people in the race. Uh, Charles Gishu, who is the current regional secretary, and then one other lady who is a pharmacist. But K.K. Trump is considered widely as a grassroots man who connects very well with the party stakeholders. And I was not surprised today when I got here at the FCMA. Lots of party folks, although this is supposed to be an assembly event, lots of party folks here showing their support behind Anthony K.K. Trump. All right. Thank you very much, Francis Wadja, coming to us from the Western region where uh, the president's nominee for the Metropolitan Chief Executive of uh, the Second Takrade Municipal Assembly has been approved and confirmed, Anthony K.K. Sam. Now, away from Takrade, do not seek shelter under trees during rainstorms. Well, that is a warning coming from the Director of Research at the Ghana Meteorological Agency, Mr. Charles York. Now, Mr. York explains that during rainstorms, lightning can strike some trees and subsequently electrify the immediate grounds, electrocuting anyone around the tree. Mr. York suggests the phenomenon possibly accounts for the disaster at the Kentampa waterfalls. You have to take shelter. You don't run under tall trees because this uh, um, uh, the, the, it's, uh, lightning flashes are electricity in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And so the tall tree will take it and the base of the tree becomes electrified. And so if you find yourself over there, you, you, you become electrocuted. Mm -hmm. it, it kills you instantly. And so the advice is that when these things form, you don't run under tall trees mm -hmm. or take shelter at a place where there are so many metals, uh, metallic poles, you don't go and lean over it, or even uh, coconut trees, because the coconut tree will take it, because maybe it is the tallest object uh, around the vicinity. Mm -hmm. And so it takes it, and then it, 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 the base of it becomes electrified, and you become electrocuted. If, for example, your antenna, your TV is not working well, you don't climb over your building to fix it. Mm -hmm because you be, then become the taller object over there and it can also kill you. And so it is so, so, so dangerous. The, the, the situation at Kintampo, um, 
you know the tree breaking and then falling on those kids could there be a possibility of you know some tender striking the tree and that happening no yeah i overheard uh, one of uh, the uh, those who were given account of uh, what happened at kentampo saying that there were lightning flashes it is possible that once they run under a tall tree and with the gusty winds the, the base of the tree could be electrified together with the uh, gusty winds that pulled the, uh, the tree down uh, may be the cause of uh, the havoc that occurred at Kentampo. Mm. The three-member fact-finding team sent by a minority caucus in Parliament to the Kentampo Waterfalls has completed their mission. The team is appealing to the public to stop ascribing superstitious uh, beliefs to tragic incidents. Uh, according to the leader of the team, Ahmed Ibrahim, there's more to the incident than mere superstition. The team also spent time psyching up the students of Winchi Method, the senior high school, who were the worst hit uh, in the disaster. Our Bruno Ahafu regional correspondent, Nesta Kafu Ajoma, sent in this report. The first deputy minority whip encouraged students of Wenchi Senior High School to ignore the assertion by some people that their school is cursed. This is about management. This is about vegetational cover. This is about rock formation and how trees are standing on rock. When there's a tree standing on a rock, clearly you can know that that tree is not strong. And when you cut the smaller trees around that big one, any possible wind can bring it down. And that's what happened. Do you blame this on superstition? No. So this is what we saw, and this is what we are going to report to leadership. Then we put up a very nice statement on possible suggestions on how to urge the government, the sitting government, to work together, to collaborate together, to avert what happened so that it doesn't it didn't occur again. That is our essence of being here. Yeah, you know, the students were in a state of psychological trauma. Some were entertaining fears because some pastors and some prophets keep on prophesying that even some were prophesying that the gas cylinders in the school were going to be blown off and therefore there was going to be another occurrence of some possible misfortune in the school. When you put those into the minds of students who are learning, those who are writing exams, some are writing today, some are writing next week, it's like you are causing fear and panic. But we've moved beyond the age of darkness. We are now in a technological age. Enlightenment is in every corner. So to continue to be in the state of superstition, believing that, believe in myths and all those kind of things, rather brings laziness. It will not push leadership to move for a possible solution. We Uh, well, in a community whose sources of livelihood have been ravaged by illegal mining, the youth of Tontochrome have resorted to operating a cutter in the bush. They provide motorbike transport services to miners in areas where vehicles cannot tread. Kusi Debra was there and has brought in this report. Mansu Tontochrome, initially a farming community, has been taken over by small-scale mining. Majority of the youth are now engaged in illegal mining, also known as Galamse. The difficulty in commuting artisans to mining sites has provided opportunity for some. They are now engaged in the Okada business. Kwame Sapon, a 28-year-old senior high school graduate, has been in this business for seven years. He financed the final year of his education with this business after his father's death. When I started, though my parents were alive, it helped me to buy school items. In 2010, when my father passed on, I was able to complete school. At first, I wasn't wise enough, so I worked for the bike owners. Now, the bike can become yours at a small interest rate. If you are wise enough, you can buy two or three motorbikes. The deplorable bushy terrain has exposed him to series of life-threatening motor accidents. I have been involved in many motor accidents. Some of the riders are even using clutches and wheelchairs. Some have died.
The community leaders are worried the business is attracting the future leaders. Boys as young as 14 are involved. A situation station master Awudu says is difficult to stop. When we approach their parents, they tell us there isn't any job for their wars. They then plead for us to allow their children to ride. The business, unlike previous years, has declined. Kwame, who used to make sales of between 200 to 300 Ghana cities daily, barely makes 50 Ghana cities a day. The drying up of water bodies has resulted in the decline of mining activities. Now we make 20 to 30 Ghana cities daily. The miners can hire your services but won't pay. Sometimes we are beaten up by thieves. The riders are however hopeful with the coming of the rainy season, business will bloom again. Well, these young men are making a business for themselves. As that shows us into our next segment, that's business with Emmanuel Abuatiriafe.